wanted to make this because I feel like some people pressure washing is like intimidating and they see these big scary gas powered machines and they don't want to even get near one. So I wanted to show you how we use ours because it's super easy, uh, super approachable. Straightforward. Uh, basically anyone could use it I would say. This is the 1600 PSI electric power washer. Um, right now I think it's like 99 bucks online. So again, pretty affordable. We get a lot of questions as to whether it's powerful enough. And for what we do, just general cleaning on the exterior of our house, it works great. And so I will show you how we set it up and also some of the things we use it for so you get an idea of how it might be helpful for you. Setup is pretty basic. You're just connecting water and power. The power is just this super, super long power cord they have, which is nice because you can plug it and move this around. This is really lightweight. But before we plug it in, we want to hook up the water. So um, when you take it out of the box, you'll have the hose and it has these two um, twist connections on either end. One goes- My shadow. Oh, sorry. One there we goes go. onto the wand. When it comes out of the box, it, your wand will also be disconnected, but it just twists in like that. Again, no tools required. And then this other end of the hose goes here on the gold threaded piece here. So you just want to put that on real tight. Okay, now we've got the hose on. That would be for the, you know, the pressured water coming out. But you also, on the other side, this is where your garden hose that you'll connect to your house goes in. So I've got mine here, I always turn it off. This one. I cut myself while making this video. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Doing what? I think I hit it on the chair. Oh my gosh! It wasn't the pressure washer, it was the chair. Yeah, it's a dangerous video. Well, I want to go put a band so this doesn't become a horror film. Now she's like, go daddy, I want to hear more. Tell me more okay. about this pressure washer. Okay, well now I'm not visibly bleeding anymore. Um, so I attached the hose before I actually turn on the water. I was going to talk one more time about the nozzles. Um, because this one comes with three different nozzles here. You can see we've got this orange one. On um, we've got this orange one. So they have a little guide here for you. Um, this black one is the highest pressure um, that you'll, you could use. So this is just holding the nozzles. These yeah. are not connected. They're yeah, just being just held Yeah, this is just a built-in in. holder. And so, you know, if I decide to use this one, I can put the other one back in. They all fit the same. Um, but basically this is the order of pressure. This blue one is the gentlest as it shows. That's the one if you wanna wash with soap, you can use like if you actually wanna spray some OxyClean or some sort of outdoor soap you can use. This is the medium pressure one. And this is the turbo high pressure one. We almost exclusively use this one. That's why it was already in um, our wand here because we find that with this uh, sort of medium guy, this Goldilocks right in the middle, just right, I can still get low pressure just by increasing the distance from the spray surface. So if I just step back a little bit, then it's just kind of a soft rinse. And if I need to add a, uh, some more pressure to something, I can just uh, step closer or move my wand closer. So for me, it's kind of the best of both worlds and it's kind of a no brainer. I don't have to think about which one I'm using. So to attach this, any of the nozzles, all you do is just pull down on this collar, push it in and then you're ready But a to boom, go. but a bang. Yeah. So once you have- Aren't you glad I got a close up? <laughs> um, so once you have your nozzle in and your hose connected, you can start turning things on. I'm gonna voice over this next part just to speed things up. First step is to turn on your hose at your closest hose bib. If you're like me, you can let your dog out at the same time. Uh, but you wanna open up your hose bib to the maximum pressure uh, all the way open. And on your way back, it's always good to check the hose to make sure there's no kinks or bends or anything that might prevent that water from getting to your pressure washer at maximum pressure. So once you've done that, you can go plug in your power cord at your closest outlet. Again, there's a really long extension cord on this machine and then you should be ready to go. Okay, so once everything's turned on, then you just have to press the power button on the top of the device. And you'll kind of hear it kick in. So now we've got pressure in the hose and you can see. Oh, that scared the dog. We yeah. scared yeah. the dog. So that's the setup of it. Now I'll show you some of the ways that we use it around that. Okay, back to voiceover since it's hard to talk over the spray and sound. Typically when you power wash, you want to clean top to bottom, just like you would do in the inside of your house. But I'm going to start on the bottom here, our pool deck. 
and you can see I'm just using a light spray to get some of the superficial dirt off. But if I hold my wand a little bit closer, you can see I can start to get some of this deeper scum and green grime that has collected on our pool deck over the off season. It really kind of builds up in some of these shadowy areas near our plant beds. And my technique is not perfect while I'm holding the camera as well, but you can see I'm just carefully going back and forth and getting the dirt off this pool deck surface, these patio stones. We do this same thing on our Trex decking on all of our porches and decks. And you can see here, holding the wand just a few inches, this is probably maybe six to eight inches from the surface, does a great job of getting all of kind of the tree dirt and scum that has collected over the off season. Now I'll say, after doing this one deck, I realized this was a very tedious process and I went out and bought a new attachment for my power washer. It attaches just like one of the other nozzles I showed you at the beginning of the video and it was 40 bucks, but it has a 12 inch spraying radius. And so it's hard to see in this video exactly how the dirt is coming off because everything looks actually somewhat cleaner when it's wet. But if you look close up, you can see I am getting some of the grime that's been set in to the grooves and sort of texture of these Trex boards over the winter. So when it dried, it was a big difference, especially we live on a dirt road and we get a lot of uh, sand and kind of dust that settles into these cracks. Okay, but back to the original orange nozzle. Here's another surface we use it on. These are the painted railings on our upper deck and you can see they get the same sort of gross tree grime that the Trex gets up there. And this does a great job of getting it off. There are some stubborn spots that might need some extra TLC or need to be repainted, but in general, it gives our railings a great refresh. Now, I should disclaim that with any painted surface, you need to be careful when pressure washing because you can flake the paint or if the wood is starting to rot, you might create some more damage with the pressure washer. So like with anything, we always recommend doing maybe a test spot first to see if it can handle the pressure washer. And always, if you feel like it's too much, you can move your wand back to relieve a little bit of the pressure and use a lighter spray on that surface. And that same advice goes for outdoor fabrics. We use our pressure washer all the time to clean outdoor cushions and pillows. And I would say 95% of them respond great to it. We had maybe a couch cushion a few years ago that frayed from having a bit too much pressure applied to it. So we would recommend if it's the first time that you're cleaning a pillow or cushion, start slow. Maybe start on the back or another inconspicuous spot and only apply as much pressure, you know, only get that wand as close as you need it to actually get that grime off. Cause I'm pretty sure no fabric wants the pressure like right up on it. Uh, but you can see from these cushions that they're doing a great job of getting some of that grime and pollen and other buildup that we had over the off season off of these cushions because we use our spaces year round and don't put them away for the off season. So some of them can get pretty nasty and we don't even realize uh, how dirty they've gotten until we start to clean them. I will say it's not flawless either. Some stains do linger or just get lightened by the pressure washing. We might have to take a different approach, uh, like some soap to get them better. But overall, the pressure washer does a great quick job of getting these cushions much cleaner. We're just sure to always put them in a sunny spot when we're done so that they can fully dry before we put them back. So that's a few ways we use our pressure washer around our house. I wanted to close the video by just showing you how to break it down, I guess, because that's just as easy as setting up. Basically, the, the steps in reverse. So, seat's still on. First step, just gonna turn it off. Okay. Then, unplug it. You can tell it's not working, because now, the water is coming <laughs> off softly, not spraying with Just pressure. like a hose pressure yeah. at this point. So once your power's off, you can turn off your hose. Just gonna spray it a little bit more to relieve some of the water pressure. And once you've just got a little bit of the water pressure released, you can start disconnecting things. And this will make it easier to store and put away. So once I've got the pressure washer hose off, I can detach the regular hose. So this is just our pocket hose releasing some of the pressure. If you have a normal hose, it may not do this. Yeah, because watch what the hose is doing. It's like shriveling up. So it's just shooting out the water to get rid of it. And then once everything's wrapped up, one of my favorite things about this guy is that it has this little strap here. So you can wrangle all of your cords because one reason we bought this thing is because it's so compact. And so this makes it 
really easy to keep everything together when you don't have a lot of storage space. Happy power <laughs> The man loves it. <laughs>